Hello, my name is Andrew Moylan. This week's Mathematica Q&A blog post is on some surprises in differentiation and integration. Our question is about calculus in Mathematica. Why doesn't differentiating after integrating always return the original function? If you take the derivative of an integral, like this one, with respect to its upper bound, and the lower bound is a constant such as zero, then the result is equal to the original function. This is a consequence of the fundamental theorem of calculus. However, if you repeat this with a more complicated function, it can appear that the result is not equivalent to the original integrand. However, this complicated expression is in fact mathematically equivalent to sine of x cubed, which you can see by using simplify, or in this case, full simplify. If the expression you pass to integrate is not already in its simplest form, then you may still be able to show that it's mathematically equivalent to the result by using simplify or full simplify on both the result and the original expression. Or you can take the easiest option of all, which is to ask simplify or full simplify to directly try and prove that the input expression is mathematically equivalent to the result. If you take an indefinite integral with respect to x of a derivative with respect to x, then the result can differ from the input expression by an arbitrary constant, in this case the constant 5. This is a consequence of the fact that indefinite integrals include an arbitrary constant of integration. In more complicated cases, it may not be immediately obvious what the difference in constants of integration, if any, actually is. In these cases, you can often use simplify to discover the difference. In this case, the original expression differs from the result by a constant minus half. For indefinite integrals involving functions with branch cut discontinuities, the situation can be more complicated again. In this case, we end up with a piecewise difference of constants of integration. In the top half of the complex plane, the difference of constants of integration is i times pi. In the bottom half of the complex plane, the difference is minus i times pi. If you specify an integral with definite lower and upper bounds, then you avoid this ambiguity. In this case, the condition, in the second argument of conditional expression, expresses the requirement that the integration endpoint should not intersect with the branch cut running from minus infinity to zero for the function log of z. If we change the lower bound of integration from t equals 1 to t equals 1 plus i, then the resulting condition on z is quite a bit more complicated. You can see it visualized in this region plot. This plot indicates that straight line integration paths from the point 1 plus i can end at any point in the complex plane as long as the path doesn't intersect this branch cut. To read about this Q&A topic in more detail, visit blog.wolfram.com where you can also download this post as a CDF.